I do a video on this lure and presentation about once a year. Why? Because it works. It works well for me and it catches fish all 12 months. There's not many lures that you can say are just going to work all throughout the year. And this is it right here. It is a soft plastic jerk bait on a Damiki head. And I like to break this down into two presentations, horizontal presentations and vertical presentations. So let's start off with the horizontal one first. This is something that anglers in a boat and anglers walking down the shoreline can both have tremendous success with. So just go ahead and put it on your spinning gear, throw it out there. Uh, if you happen to have uh, in a boat some you know, live targeting, active target type stuff, you can let this lure sink down to the school. But here's the real key is you're bringing it back, okay? Okay, once you get it to the depth you want, just start to reel it. But here's the real key. Once you start retrieving that lure back, take your finger and just start to tap it lightly on the side of the rod and look at the tail kick action that imparts on the lure. It looks so much like a minnow swimming, you know, nonchalantly through the water column. And those easy meals are something that bass love to eat. And every once in a while on that horizontal presentation, just give the rod tip a little twitch and you'll get that fleeing bait fish type of uh, action or presentation to it that can trigger a bass in the biting. Let's say they're following that lure and all of a sudden that it tries to flee and escape, that'll trigger that feeding instinct. So between tapping the side of the rod and twitching the rod once in a while to get the bait to jump, those are two highly effective ways to fish this particular lure, this Damiki presentation. And it is very finesse, but it's kind of neat in the fact that you can cover some water with it. This is something I can go ahead and tie on and just start working the shoreline to find fish, to find some active fish. I love covering water and I love the fact that it is so finesse about anything is going to bite it. Now, as far as a vertical presentation, okay, this is going to be tougher for shore anglers, but if you're out in a boat, any place that you would normally fish a drop shot vertically is a great place to fish the Damiki rig. You can just drop it straight down to that school of fish, down to that structure or cover that you're trying to target, and you can leave it sit completely motionless. With this Elastec, it'll just sit there horizontal in the water column and looks super, super lifelike. Very good at triggering those very finicky bass to bite. Or once again, you can start to tap the rod, get that tail kick, or jig it a little bit more. But it is a tremendous vertical presentation. In the wintertime, you're probably going to have it right down on the bottom of the lake. And then as the water warms up, you're probably going to move up off the bottom quite a bit. If there's a downside to this lure and a downside to these presentations, it's the fact that it'll catch anything in the lake. You might get a five inch bass on one cast and then a four pounder on the next cast. You're gonna catch panfish and rock bass, you know, walleye, basically anything that swims is gonna eat this thing. So if you just want to get some bites, this is a really fun lure to use. That's why I like to do a video on it every single year. And hey, if you want to watch a video on two different presentations for soft plastics that make our lures, soft plastic lures, look ultra realistic, go ahead and check this one out right here. And make sure that you go out and encourage someone today. You never know how you might just change their life for the bass fishing life. I'm your host, Steve Rogers.